Have you ever wanted to go on a trip out west? We have, and we finally did this year. Check out our route, what fun we had, and where we camped. Ever since we started traveling four years ago, I've wanted to visit my big sister, Mary, in southern Utah. But the pandemic and then Larry's health crisis changed everything. But finally, we did the big trip from Florida to Utah this past summer. We drove 3,800 miles from Northern Florida to Southern Utah. We visited six new states, new to us, and St. George, Utah was our 10th stop. And you know I had to get those state selfies. Now, how do you decide to add a state to your map? I only add if we spend at, le at least one night in that state. I agree, you need to spend at least one night in that state but you also have to get it on that state. You know what I'm saying, guys. Let's all get together and make that a requirement for checking off a state. We visited state and national parks and some other must-see destinations, like Horseshoe Bend, which we found by accident going to get diesel. We didn't stop there. We visited the Mighty Five in Utah, and then we went up to Oregon before we headed back to Florida. Well, that will be another video or two or three. We'll have to see. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos. For this video, we are sharing national parks, monuments, seashores, along with other great destinations. But the whole point of this trip to Southern Utah was to see my eldest sister. So we end the video with her favorite places near her, but not with Larry. Nope, I flew out from Vegas for another IVIG treatment in Gainesville, Florida. It was great knowing Alice was safe because her sister was only a few minutes away. Now we had planned on going out west in April, trying to get to Utah before it got too friggin' hot. I was switching all my doctors at Shands UF in Gainesville, and some of my most important appointments were in late April, so unfortunately, we didn't hit the road till May 1st. This did delay our original plan, plus I added stops in there. I had to see aliens. She had to see aliens. You gotta see aliens. You gotta. So we got to Utah when it was a bit hot in June, July. I do not recommend. We have links to all the destinations and camp campgrounds in the description below. After watching, let us know in the comments which of these amazing places you have been and which you are adding to your future summer trip. This is our first stop on our big trip out west. First, heading to Utah. This is the Big Lagoon State Park in the panhandle of Florida. So one stop in Florida, and then we're like, boom, 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 a bunch of stops. We're doing eight stops on the way to Utah. The question is, when we stay for two or three nights, do you stop and explore, or you just chill and wait for the next stop? Or do you go out on a day like this and enjoy the beautiful sunshine and the beaches and the water? It's hard to resist. That's true. I don't want to just sit inside the RV and wait for the next road trip. <laughs> Say hello to the watermelon. Giant watermelon. This is our first welcome center on our journey to Utah, Alabama. We couldn't find one on our route, but Mississippi, thank you. We are definitely in Mississippi. What I love about Mississippi is it is a beautiful countryside. Green. What I, what I don't like are the friggin' roads suck. <laughs> Here we are in Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -P -P -I. This is our second three night stop on our way to Utah. Does everybody in the world learn that? Because I grew up in Canada and I know how to do that. You guys know about Mississippi and Canada? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually one of the rare private campgrounds that we've been to over the last three years. But this is a pretty good one. It has full hookups. It's right on the highway that we're on, on the way to go to Utah. So it was a great little stop for three nights. And check out the lake. 
Scruffy is having a great time walking along the lake looking for squirrels and ducks. And the smart thing is we went on Google Maps and made sure that we would be able to get our Starlink facing at the sky. Okay, another state welcome center, now Louisiana. And guess what? It was only eight minutes away from the other one. Thank you, Larry, for stopping. Yeah, we are exiting Mississippi and heading to Louisiana. This is our first time in Louisiana also. Yes. Lake Bistineau State Park in Louisiana. And I think it's the bayou. I'm gonna pretend it's the bayou because this is our first time in Louisiana and I wanted to be in the bayou. I'm not sure if this is the bayou. Somebody out there tell us, is this bayou just because we have cypress trees? <laughs> and it's our third stop and another three nights and we just keep rolling. Welcome to Texas, y'all. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny, actually. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. You're big and you're loud. Yeah, we definitely off the highway at I-20 in Texas. We've got two big stops here in Texas before we make it all the way through. We are now just outside Dallas, Texas, and this is our fourth stop on the way to Utah, another three nights. We're at Lake Park Campground, and it is about half an hour from a buddy that I grew up with in high school, and we stopped off for three days to hang out with them and catch up. Stop filming us. Stop filming us, baby. That's, That's cool. right. We're we're hanging out at the Byron today, right having middle, a good time. Hanging out right in the middle of the, uh, hanging out right in the middle of the field. <laughs> time for Larry and Scruffy to cut loose. We are at this sweet little city park in Sweetwater, Texas. Now this is our second stop in Texas because Texas is big, y'all. So we had two stops in Texas, but this one is just one night. And this is the first time that we stayed hitched up and we manually leveled and let the slides out. We were supposed to be boondocker welcome at a spot, but it turned out he wasn't long enough in his spot to, to accommodate the entire RV and truck together. Yeah, plus he kind of said something about tree branches because we're kind of tall. But next up, Carl's Bad Caverns. Yeah. We're going to be staying in Fence Canyon, Bone Boondocking, Dockin'. and we'll see how that goes. What do you think, Scruffy? Scruffy. 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 This White City campground was conveniently located right next to the National Park and lots of roadside attractions. Thank you, Mark from Grand Adventure for recommending Carlsbad Caverns, and we made it for the 100 year anniversary. We're walking into Carlsbad Caverns for the first time. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. We're in New Mexico, and we got some cool weather, thank you very much. We're taking the natural entrance, which is 
uh, I think more of a hike, isn't it? But instead of taking the ele the elevator down, so. But but all, a lot of people say just take the elevator back up because it's like the same thing. We're taking the Ranger uh, led tour I forget later what it was on. Called. Yeah. King's King's Palace. Kind of cool. They just get that little bit of sunlight. But how much of that age was growth is really difficult. <laughs> We are in New Mexico, another state. Stop number six. And another stop. This time it was supposed to be three, and then we were thinking one, but we were loving the cave so much that we wound up staying here for two nights, and then we're moving on. To Bottoms Lake. Looking for aliens. Roswell, here we come. This is all for me. Larry, thank you very much for putting up with this, but I wanted to see aliens. Make sure you stop by the visitor center first for some great information in that alien photo. Okay, babe, this is one of our first cool sites that we're coming to here in New Mexico. And this place, <gasps> you can't tell. Oh my You can't goodness. tell from where I am now, but watch this. Isn't that How cool? How gorgeous is this? Yeah, man, I should have brought my bathing suit. I'm going swimming, baby. We found this really epic spot. You sound out of breath. I am out of breath. <laughs> I haven't hiked for a while, excuse me. <laughs> So um, we are at Bottomless Lake and this is Devil's what? Devil's Ink Well. It's gorgeous, the watercolor you wouldn't believe. This is like our eighth, seventh or eighth stop. I lost count. We're still on our way to Utah, believe it or not. But Bottomless Lake State Park is a must to go to and to hike. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful views and stuff here. We, we were just chilling out the first couple of days and here it is, we could leave tomorrow. <laughs> And we're discovering awesome spots yeah. like this and there's nobody out here we're all alone this is crazy and on and on a beautiful day yes perfect day Finally made it to Arizona. One more state to go. It's been a long, long drive, but uh, I'm looking forward to stopping for the night. Yeah, this has been a long day. We're doing a seven hour a day or eight hour a day, something like that. But uh, we're really close to the finish line for today. I'm very tired. <laughs> Check it out. We are camped right outside the Petrified Forest National Park. Now this is dry camping, but it's free. You are so close to a national park. Another national park, another state, Arizona, and another stop on our way to Utah. I think it's stop eight. I lost count. <laughs> this is stop nine. Oh. But um, we, we kind of came across this by accident. We were looking for a place to stop for the night. I said, hey, wait a minute. There's Petrified Natural Forest. Let's go there. So here we are. And Scruffy right. is now an official bark ranger. Okay, Scruffy just keeps going from shady, to shady. shady spot to shady spot. Oh, look, at look at her. I just want to get down and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Why are you guys doing this to me? We love seeing all the petrified wood, but there was so much more to see.
Who loves roadside attractions, especially when it's Route 66? There's on that side? Yes. Oh, that's cheating. I bet you're gonna have to get on it like a horse. Okay, there you go. Check this out. We are dry camping right on the Colorado River right here in Arizona. Believe it or not, this is our last stop before our long, long road trip from Florida to Utah. We've got about three hours to go from here. This is Lee's Ferry, Arizona in the Marble Canyon, and it is beautiful. Now, this was a last minute pick, thank you, Larry, because our trip before this was like eight hours, and I was like, can we break this one up a little? So we only have like three hours to go, and I'm super excited to finally finally get to Utah. This is like stop number 10. Yes. <laughs> so we took our time getting here, mm. but we have had a lot of cool adventures on yeah. the way. We found some really fun stuff to see, and I guess that's the best way to travel. It's just kind of pick it up as you go. And we filmed all of it, and hopefully eventually you'll see all of it. Larry did his great site-by-site -site tours of the campgrounds where we stayed. We're recording right now. We are at the horseshoe. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm hold on to her tight. Pretty scary. Check out this view right here. That is pretty awesome. There is so much to see and explore just within an hour of Lee's Ferry. camped at Lee's Ferry, I had an expedition pick me up right from the campground and take me up the Colorado River to Horseshoe Bend, where they drop you off with some kayaks and then you spend the rest of the day floating down the Colorado. I see a view more awesome than the next. I mean, look at that. Coming into this corner right here, this is pretty cool. I'm Alice and I'm Mary 
And we are Downsizing, Downsizing Makes, Makes Sense. Sense. Light the penny. And we finally made it to Utah. You guys, this is stop 11 from Florida to Utah. And the whole trip was just for this girl. This is my big sis. Yay. <laughs> and we finally made it. Oh, I forgot. There are other people here. I'm Larry. I'm Brad. And we're actually downsizing makes sense like the penny. <laughs> but now we're foursome. And I got to meet my family after 33 years. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I haven't seen my sister in 19 years. Oh my God. Don't we look like twins? <laughs> While Larry was away, the girls went to play at Mary's favorite places. Unfortunately, we are at the end of our two weeks here near my sister Mary and her husband Brad. And this was the whole reason we drove from Florida to Southern Utah, but it's at an end. We are 3,800 miles just to get here, but we had such an awesome time hanging out with these guys. Two weeks here. Now we are at a great starting point for the rest of our journey. Yes, we're gonna hit the other four of the mighty five. And then who knows? No clue. <laughs> Can you believe we're able to see and do so much in just over a month? It was a crazy month. But fun. Wait until you see the rest of our summer. Look for those videos in the future. Please share in the comments your favorite places that we might have missed along our route or if you have any questions about the places that we have shown in this video. You can also comment or message on our Instagram and Facebook. I will leave a link to a playlist right over here of some of our other RV travels across the US and Canada. And oh. remember, <laughs> whoops, and remember, <laughs> downsizing does make sense. <laughs>